If you want to be successful in your career and truly excel, you need to have good work habits that drive success. In this video, I'm going to share with you my seven tips for building good work habits that drive success. Are you ready? Let's get started. My name is Cindy Makita Dodd. I am a career strategist and coach. And in this video, I want to share with you good work habits that drive success. Whether you are an entry level candidate or an experienced professional, these habits are going to help you drive success but also accelerate to that next level in your career. They can be implemented at any stage so take special notes because they're going to help you boost your results. Number one is to be efficient with your time. This means scheduling out time on your calendar where you can get focus work done that's going to help you move the needle towards your goals and your team's goals. Hyper focus is essential if you want to build a successful career for yourself. In this age where everybody is hyper distracted, where we get moved around by dings and bells and people wanting our attention, if you can build a habit of getting focus work done, that means removing all distractions and really sitting down to move the needle towards your goals, you set yourself up for success. Be efficient with your time in a given day because the more efficient you are, the more you can get results for your team, the more you add value to your organization and the more you can boost your results toward career success. Number two is to get feedback regularly. Meet with your manager or supervisor on a regular basis in order to get feedback from them on your performance and areas for improvement. If you can build this ongoing and open communication between you and your leaders, it puts you in a position to not only excel in your career, but you are able to see blind spots that you may not be aware of that you can improve your performance. If you have this open communication between you and your managers, it sets you up for career success. Having this open communication between you and your leaders ensures that there's no hidden or blind spots within your career. You are very clear on areas for improvement that you can work on to boost your performance. And ultimately you set yourself up on a trajectory to hitting your goals. Number three, be proactive and not reactive. If you are proactive, it means that you are always one step ahead. You're not sitting back and waiting for people to tell you what to do or to do instructions. You are going out and getting it done, whatever it takes. Employers love people that are proactive and that are always one step ahead. So position yourself as a person who is always proactive and not reactive, that you anticipate potential pitfalls or challenges that may come about and that you already find solutions prior to them happening and you will be a huge asset to your team. And this leads me to tip number four, which is to look at problems as opportunities. I have been in an organization where a challenge comes about and all of a sudden everybody's morale drops, people are feeling negative, they don't know what to do. But on the other hand, you see some people that step up and they look at problems as opportunities. This habit that you can build will ensure that people look to you for solutions. That is a great place to be. Employers don't hire people to tell them what problems exist. They hire people to tell them the solutions to the problem. And so in order to build a good work habit that's going to lead you to success, is by looking at problems as opportunities. Number five is to keep a work journal. A work journal is simply a book or a notebook where you take note of all your accomplishments throughout your career. If you have a win for the week, write it down. If you hit your quarterly or your yearly goal with your team, write it down. If you have an accomplishment or you achieve a result, write it down. Your work journal will be a key part in your career success, getting to the habit of writing your successes down. It's gonna be beneficial for you for two reasons. Number one, when you have a performance review with your manager or your leader, you can pull out your work journal, demonstrate and elaborate on all your wins, your successes and your accomplishments in your role. And it puts you in a position to negotiate a salary increase or even position yourself for a promotion. On the other hand, if you want to look for new opportunities, having a work journal is a great starting point for your resume because you would have listed out all the great things that you accomplished in your previous role. 
I also love keeping a work journal because if I'm feeling down that day or I faced a challenge at work, I can go back and revisit my successes and the wins that I got, especially the wins that I was able to help my clients achieve and it automatically lifts my mood and gives me the motivation that I need to keep moving forward. Number six is to get out of your comfort zone. A good work habit is to find ways to challenge yourself, whether it's taking on a new project, collaborating with a different team, or even implementing a new initiative or bringing the idea to the table. Getting out of your comfort zone is essential if you want to achieve career success because those that remain comfortable, they stay where they're at, they're not looking for new opportunities or challenges, will remain stagnant. And you are watching this video because you want to achieve career success. So make sure that you find opportunities within your team and within your organization to be challenged. Every week, think about a new way that you can challenge yourself because when you're challenged, that is how you grow. And that takes me to my final tip, which is to have a growth plan. You cannot know what to do today if you don't know where you are going. A growth plan is a clear picture of the skills you want to acquire, the projects that you want to work on, and ultimately the career professional that you want to become. If you have a clear picture on what that growth plan is, where you are now versus where you want to be, it will position you to find opportunities at work to help you acquire those skills so that you can get to that end result. Without a plan of action, you are simply going through the motions. So communicate with the leaders in your organization and those around you what your growth plan is. Not only will you start spotting opportunities to make that dream a reality, those around you will also start to notice you for opportunities because you have a growth plan in place. And so to recap, good work habits that drive success. Number one is to be efficient with your time by scheduling hyper-focused time so that you can be productive every day. Number two is to get regular feedback from your coworkers and from your managers so that you can boost your performance. Number three is to be proactive and not reactive. Number four is to look at problems as opportunities. Number five is to keep a work journal where you write out your accomplishments, your wins, and your results on a regular basis. Number six is to get out of your comfort zone and start to challenge yourself. And last but not least is to have a growth plan in place. I hope that you found these tips useful on good work habits that drive success for your career. If you found it helpful, please give it a like, comment below any questions that you have, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more career and job related tips and advice on how to ultimately reach your potential and achieve career success. I have two free resources for you. Click the link in the description of this video to attend my free masterclass on how to land your dream job in the next 60 to 90 days, but also download my PDF Standout Candidate Toolkit, where I'll show you the step-by-step -step strategies on how to stand out as a candidate in today's job market. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.